Well, I'm Walt Mossberg. Shut up. Recently at Macworld in Boston, Steve Jobs, CEO of Apple, was giving his keynote, and just when he was about to announce an amazing new product which I've been using for several months, Bill Gates appeared like some kind of nerdy big brother on the video screen behind him. Then Grand Admiral Bullcutt started talking about how Microsoft is going to be giving Apple $150 million to keep the company from going under. Everyone in the room was stunned, and I'm pretty sure that a number of people stabbed themselves to death with their unibody MacBook Pros. After they shut off the video of that grating nerdy idiot, Steve came back on stage and he said, We have to let go of a few notions here. We have to let go of the notion that for Apple to win, Microsoft has to lose. Can you believe that? Bill Gates is violating Apple. What's the matter, Bill? Are you bored of destroying your own products and need to torch some good ones? This is insanity. I don't understand why Steve agreed to take the money, either. Is this some sort of reverse takeover attempt? Why would Steve want to put himself next to such pedestrian products? What's wrong, Steve? Do you have gambling debts? Thousands of bastard children to pay for? Worker settlement lawsuits? When you announced your last quarter earnings, everything sounded great. You said I even got you your largest non-holiday quarter ever. There's only one logical conclusion. This is your fault, consumers. Why the hell didn't you buy more of the products? I did my part. So did Steve Jobs. But now he's got to compromise on his principles, and why? Because of you? Why is he going to continue to create such amazing products? And why would I continue telling you about them when you aren't even going to buy enough of them? You goddamn ingrates. You atrocities. Here a great man creates products for you to love, and an even greater man lets you know about them. And this is the thanks we get? This is a major problem, and we have to fix it before Microsoft gives Apple the check. Could you imagine the damage to Apple if Microsoft were allowed to get its claws into our company? Do you think the culture of Apple could possibly survive this? If Microsoft is allowed to invest in Apple, it would ruin them. We're going to keep this nightmare scenario from happening, and this is how you're going to do it. Every single one of you watching this, go get your checkbook and write Apple a check for $1,000. If this is too much for you, shut up. Do it anyway. Mail your Apple check-in. What? No, it isn't. It just happened. Someone sent me a link. And I... Someone sent me a link today. I just got this in the emails today, Catherine. Don't backtalk me, Missy, or you'll get a mouthful of Ben Gay. Well, that's absurd. Don't you think I'd notice if this had happened 12 years ago? Don't you think I'd remember? I mean, if it had happened 12 years ago, it would have already destroyed Apple. I would remember, Catherine. I would. You know what? Screw this. Screw it. I don't have to stand here and listen to you insult me. I... No, I'm going. What did you say? What did you say? No, Catherine. You're the drunken, senile old bastard. I'm Walt Mossberg. Shut up.